what's going on everybody i'm going to do a video for something that is highly requested all the time i get asked all the time darius you have a roof rack that mounts onto the top of the car like the euro cars and the german cars and it doesn't go over the edge and hook into the door tell us about it give us part numbers links all the other stuff so i'm going to tell you what i have where you could get it and how to install it and i will put all the information for the feet the foot kit the bars all that stuff on the screen and in the description and over that gutter part when it's not mounted you have a little tab there like most oem cars if you know what that was for that's what that's for on the 2014s and 2015s they did not come factory with these rain guards that had to cut out for the roof racks it just came with a solid piece i don't think until 2016 it came as a factory option these are factory rails i ordered them from my local mazda dealership and i will put the part numbers on the screen or in the description but what I did before that, and I insert the picture, is that I drilled a hole in my factory trims, and you would never know the difference. Because the roof rack, the feet on the roof rack, uh, covers it up. So you could drill a hole or cut a slot in it to access it, and it works all the same. Now the other style clamps over and goes into the door trim, but I think the Euro uh, German gutter mount looks a lot cleaner, in my personal opinion. All right, so there's a couple of parts that go into the roof rack itself. You have the feet, which is the part that uh, holds onto the bars. And the feet are not unique to the Mazda 6. These will be used and shared across many different platforms. What's unique to the Mazda 6 will be the foot kit. And the foot kit is what goes on the feet so that it actually contours to your car. So even though if you find the right feet, you will have to order the specific foot kit. And I think this foot kit four years ago, which is just basically these four rubber pieces were about $120 from REI. And I bought them locally because it was faster and quicker and I couldn't wait to get it on. So I don't know if you could tell, but Mazda, Mazda makes these in oem trim with mazda on it these came off of a mishibishi and i don't know if you can make it out on there because i would try to rub it off as much as what i could but these came oem on a mishibishi the guy had it and he put it on his second gen mazda 3 hatch and that's how i got it so i bought my stuff used so once you get your rails installed you get your foot kit installed you get your feet installed then you can install your foot kit and all it does, it just goes right into the grooves on the foot kit. And then it's ready to be mounted on the car. Also, if you buy these second hand and it has a lock, you want to make sure that it's either unlocked or that it has the key. Now, don't take people's word for it. One thing about these keys is that they will have the number on it in my case mine is n014 and you want to make sure that it matches the number that is on the lock n014 now if you do buy a, a roof rack and it doesn't have the key you can request the key uh, from the manufacturer's website and it used to be about 15 dollars for one key so of course either you have the factory rails that you drilled a hole in or you remove your access plates and it reveals the stud this is what your roof is going to look like so now what you want to do is that you want to grab a stud a spacer a washer and your nut so what you're going to do first is that you're going to take your stud and your allen wrench and you're going to place it right into the mount and then tighten it up you want to install your spacer and it just slips right on 
now that we have all four studs uh, installed, let's get our roof rack installed. So you do want to make sure that you have everything installed correctly. So the fat side is going to be towards the front with the high side on the foot kit towards the rear. And the reason why the high side goes towards the rear and towards the front is because the roof line swoops down towards the front and it swoops down towards the rear. So it would be higher on the back, clocks it to where everything should be straight going across the car. Verify that your front one is the same way with the high side towards the front and the fat side towards the front. So the front should look like this, fat side, high side, and the rear should look like this, fat side, high side. Then you may need to do some final adjustments. Being on this particular one, it has a Allen head bolt here. And if you loosen this bolt, it will allow it to slide in the track under the bottom, which will give you adjustability to slide it back and forth. So you may need to do some fine tuning with that to get them to mount and match on the studs. And to mount them on the car is as simple as what you think. You get the hole in the bottom, which is right there to mount up with the stud that you installed earlier. So you just take it like so and get the stud lined up. And while you're on this side, get the rear, line it up and get the stud in and then walk around. Like I said, if yours is not adjusted correctly, then you can adjust it but stud drops in stud drops in after all of your studs are in then you want to take your washer and install it and then you want to take your nut and install it and then repeat that for the other three once all your nuts are installed in my case it's a 10 millimeter you just want to take that and tighten it down i don't know if they have like torque specifications or not but you can consult your manual to see how tight your nuts need to be so once you get this tightened down do one and then do the other three next if you have your covers with your keys you want to install them next so you want to make sure that it is unlocked and on mine, if it's unlocked, they are going side to side. And then the lock mechanism ties right into the point right there. So you just take them, install them like so. Take your key, turn it to the right. And now it is locked and secure. So let me do it for the other three sides. And now the gutter mount is all installed and secured. Now I will say that if you go and buy these brand new from Tui or Yakima, you're gonna pay about, last time I priced it, it was about $500 for the feet, the foot kit, and the rails and keys. It was like $460, $500. I'm not sure what the price is now, but it is the price you will pay if you buy these brand new. I bought mine used off of Craigslist for 80 bucks and then I paid $120 for the foot kit so $200 all in now there is one on Amazon there's like $119 between $119 and $140 depending on the seller and I will put a picture of it up right here so y'all let me know if I should do a review and a comparison between these and the Amazons and it'll be for installation fit and finish as well as highway noise because these are a lot better than the square bars or the round bars as it doesn't require a fairing which gives less wind resistance which gives you better miles per gallon but they're not completely silent um, if you have your music up a little bit then you don't hear them but if I have my sunroof panel open or if I have my sunroof glass up I can hear it whistle at highway speeds so if y'all want to know a comparison of how it sounds doing highway speeds, like I said, installation, fit and finish, let me know and I will buy it off Amazon. I will do an installation video 
and I will drive it 120 miles back and forth to work to let you know how it compares to a sub $500 roof rack. So y'all let me know in the comments below, like and share this video. If you have any questions, let me know. So now that you have your good amount roof rack installed, you can now transport a cargo box, a roof basket, bike racks, ski racks, snowboard racks, racks on racks on racks, all the racks that your heart desire. Or you can just put it on here for looks or whatever you want to do, whatever your intention is, you can do it. You can remove it, you can add it, take it off, add accessories, take away accessories. There's a bunch of accessories that you can do for your roof racks. Until next time, think, build, enjoy.